Today we're going to make what I call the quick and easy bottle stopper. And the reason I call it the quick and easy bottle stopper is because the primary tool we'll be using once we get the blank on the lathe is the scraper. Uh, scrapers are controversial sort of wood turning tools. You talk to turners about scrapers and you'll get opinions all over the place. Uh, some people love them, other people hate them. Myself, I fall somewhere in the middle there and I believe they do have a place in the turning wood shop. And they're, oftentimes uh, they're the only tool for the job and uh, they get the job done quite, quite well. We'll be talking a little bit more about scrapers a little further on in the video. Uh, first I wanted to just kind of quickly go over the tools that you'll be needing to make a bottle stopper. Starting with the bottle stopper kit, which consists of two parts, the, uh, the metal stopper part and a silicone rubber cork-like uh, part that slides on here once it's assembled, and that's the part that actually seals into the wine bottle. The end of the stopper is threaded, and that will go into a hole that we will be drilling and tapping into the end of our wooden blank. To do that, of course, we'll need a drill and a tap of the appropriate size. The final thing we need is a mandrel, which holds the blank on the, on the lathe while we're turning it. And uh, this is a simple mandrel. It's got the same threads as the bottle stopper and the same length. And it will screw into the hole that we tap here and uh, hold it on the, on the lathe while we turn it. It also has a little sizing ring that fits on here. And that is the same size as the end of the bottle stopper. So when you're turning, you know how far down you have to turn that uh, end of the bottle stopper. The bottle stoppers themselves, they come in a couple different configurations. This one happens to be a chrome, and it's one of the least expensive of the bunch. Uh, you can buy these for about 4 or $5 a kit, even less if you buy them in quantity. Uh, they're also available, uh, very similarly sized and shaped, in stainless steel. There's also a smaller one that's available in stainless steel. And uh, some of them have different points. They have like a teardrop end. And uh, if you go online and, and look at bottle stoppers, you'll find all kinds of them. The stainless steel ones do cost a little more. Uh, in this configuration, they would be about 8 or $9 a kit, something like that. Again, if you buy in quantity, the, the price will be lower. The last thing you need is some kind of a wooden blank to uh, make the uh, top of the bottle stopper out of. And I generally just use scraps that I have laying around the shop left over from other projects. This is a piece of primavera that's left over from a, a large bowl project that I made. And uh, this is a piece of uh, mesquite that's left over from, I'm not even sure what anymore. Uh, it's, a, it's a marvelous wood to turn. In fact, I may use this one for this project. Um, it's also good to, to put on the, the little pieces that are left over, uh, go nice on the barbecue for adding that smoke flavor. This is a piece of uh, Oregon myrtle with some figuring in it. And there's just all kinds of uh, things that you can uh, use uh, virtually anything you, you have laying around in the shop. It's a good way to use up those hunks of wood that you hate to throw away but don't know quite what to do with. Um, that's about all we need as far as materials. Uh, next thing to do is to get started and uh, get the blank ready to turn. <laughs> 